here you can see I projected a picture of Gravedigger on my wall, or on my home theater screen, and uh, it's just to get the scale for the for the project. I'm going to use the silhouette. I traced it out on foam. You'll see it later on in the video. Uh, I was able to figure out the the wheel and tire size uh, that I'm going to be using to get it right, um, and also the wheelbase things like that. So it was really handy to use my home theater projector to get all the stuff right. I just recently pulled the wheels out of the powder coating oven and I'm a moron. I did the decent powder coat on the wrong side of the wheel. It, you can see the valve stem holes are on the inside. So I'm stupid and I had to re-powder coat. Here's my son uh, sitting in a lawn chair, uh, kind of in the position of where he's going to be sitting uh, in his monster truck. Uh, I was just doing this to get the, the wheel base and just to make sure that he was going to fit in everything. And uh, yeah, it, he had a lot of fun doing it as well. Of screw ups along the way, but the chassis is tacked in place. It looks like we're at four feet uh, wheelbase. Um, and I screwed up a few times. I didn't leave enough room in the in the rear for a sprocket, so that was a screw up. I had to ditch the uh, the side frame tubes and make new ones uh, a few inches longer to accommodate a sprocket on the axle because the sprocket would have hit the the rear frame tube and i also screwed up on the front because the front wheels need to steer so it looks like i'm gonna have to cut this about here and have uh, a square tube coming on an angle to about here and then just get rid of this corner piece here so that the tires can steer. That was a screw up too. I didn't realize how narrow the frame had to be. Um, so yeah, so that's what I got done tonight. I just did the projection transfer onto the two inch foam board you see here and it came out really good i even had a little bit of fun with the uh with the graphics i forgot an eye on the skull there but um yeah the when you're writing uh horizontally or vertically with a pen it doesn't want to keep the ink flowing so it kept i kept having to shake the pen but um yeah 
I got all the basic lines where the curves are going to be. Uh, yeah, and I'm actually I just realized that I could figure out how to trace out the um, the rough designs of the flames through the projector, so I can get those uh, kind of the artworks and the graphics. They don't. I looked online and I couldn't find anything related to you know getting vinyl cut for the gravedigger graphics but uh yeah this is probably how i'm gonna do it i'm just gonna uh freehand it and tape it off with blue painter's tape once it's uh fiberglass and and then just you know layer it up with the flames and hopefully i can figure out how to get the skull in the i don't know it's like a castle thing um just freehand it all kind of like they do on cakes so yeah even the gravedigger kind of logo came out pretty good so now I'm going to cut it out with a um with a jigsaw and I don't know how many it's going to be because I don't know how wide the body is going to be uh for my son to sit in I'm thinking somewhere along the lines of 18 inches or so wide so um yeah we'll see how many pieces I have to cut out and get it on top of the chassis Just got the uh, the foam pieces cut out. Well, two of them. Um, trying to figure out how many I need right now, but I'm just mocking up the body uh, from the side view to see. And I got it in the perfect place, I'd say. I looked at the the picture, the side view that I used to actually create the uh, the silhouette of the body. Uh, from the real grave digger and it's pretty much spot on with like wheel spacing how the the rear of the body kind of comes down right there um spacing between the top of the wheels and the body and just general proportions it's it's pretty it's pretty scale so i'm happy with that um i think he's gonna fit in it fine uh his head's the helmet is probably gonna pop out of the top so i'm gonna leave the the center open kind of like other ones I've seen on YouTube and uh, I'm trying to think if I'm gonna I'm probably gonna cut a hole where the windows are I don't know if I'm gonna put like a little Lexan window in the front or not for a windshield or just leave it open I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do but I'm gonna I'm gonna make the the mold the plug and um, and just see what I'm gonna do from there but uh, yeah I think it looks awesome I'll try and back up a little bit to show you that's pretty scale, I would say. I mean, more scale than the other ones that I've seen on YouTube. So I'm pretty excited about that. It's a big, uh, a big step here. And yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. It's going to be fun. The body's kind of what I like to do. It's a little more fun than the, uh, than the metal work in the fab. Although I love it all. It's, it's awesome, you know, the whole thing coming together. But the, uh, but making the body is going to be cool. Gluing all the pieces together, shaping it, carving it, and then, you know, fiberglassing it, making a mold. And yeah, it's going to be fun. Okay, YouTube, I uh, got a little more work done on the grave digger here, and I cut out a bunch more uh, silhouettes of the pink foam for the body. I got seven total now. Uh, I'm going to need more. I think, I think probably two, maybe three. Um, I'm going to measure it and see kind of what I need. Uh, to fit my son in there. I do need some more width, so I think um, I think at least two or three more. So I'm going to go buy another sheet or two of that. 
stuff is pretty expensive. It's like 30 bucks a piece. So I was hoping not to have to get too many more, but I guess two more pieces and um, get the body filled out. I'm hoping I didn't screw up too bad on, I think it's the original one here. Yeah, I screwed it up pretty bad. I uh, The jigsaw blade kind of sunk down on the one side here and it created that indent. So I'm not gonna be able to make that up with with sanding, I'm, I'm probably gonna need the height. So I'm gonna have to replace that one too. Hopefully I can get away with just two more pieces. And then uh, once I get all the silhouettes done, uh, the next step is to uh, Super 77 glue the pieces together. And once it's dry, just go to town sanding it down and creating the, the 3D kind of mold for the fiberglass. And uh, yeah, that's kind of the next plan. So uh, I think the next video is gonna be uh, the sanding and the shaping. So hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, like and subscribe if you could to support the channel. And uh, hopefully I can make some more good content. Thanks.